Have you ever spied on others? According to a study, over 90% of people have the habit of peeping. It's not only limited to real life, it's even more popular on the internet. Late at night, many surfers look through their ex's social media, tracing every detail of recent changes. The study concludes that this is normal psychological activity. Today, I'll be sharing a story of a boy peeping at a neighboring girl. Can you imagine what secret he discovered? Hello everyone, welcome to Cherry Clips. Today's movie is named Love and Murder of Sheep and Wolf. Itsuro has gone through the college entrance exam twice, but he doesn't make it into his dream school. He is frustrated and ashamed of himself, so he decides to hang himself. He struggles out of instinct and kicks off the closet. A beam of light shines in. Itsuro is drawn to the source of the light. There is a hole in the wall. When he peeps into the hole, he can catch sight of a cute girl's living room. The girl is named Ryo. Etsuro gives up the thought of ending his life. He is attracted to Ryo. How fun to watch her every move. Etsuro starts to fantasize a romantic story. On the other side of the wall, the hole is hidden inside a bookshelf. It's hard to be seen. Etsuro takes it as his job to peep on Ryo. Ryo enjoys alone time. She's still a student, so she reads a lot. Such a beautiful girl is out of Itsuro's league. If not for the hole, he wouldn't have a chance to learn so much about her. Itsuro has no income. He can't even feed himself. There's a man living downstairs. His sister drops by and brings food for him now and then. Itsuro steals the food she left on her brother's front door. He is so starved that he starts shoving food in his mouth on the roadside. Ryo notices him from upstairs and says hello to him. Itsuro is embarrassed. He's even more surprised when she invites him to have lunch together. Ryo prepares delicate food. Itsuro doesn't care about his manners anymore. He wolfs down the meat and rice. From then on, they eat together a lot and get acquainted. Itsuro wonders why Ryo has dinner with him. He doesn't work. He fails the exams. He's a total loser. Ryo smiles sweetly, but doesn't answer him. Itsuro is confused. He feels sorry to peep at her like a pervert, so he covers the hole. But when he hears that Ryo's door opens, he can't help spying on her again. Ryo wears a transparent raincoat. She comes home with a man. The man teases Ryo. Ryo controls him easily and kills him without any hesitation. The man's blood splashes on Ryo's face. She smiles with satisfaction. Itsuro can't believe his eyes. How can such a tiny girl be a bloody murderer? But instead of feeling afraid, he admires her quick moves. When he's mimicking her, his doorbell rings. Ryo brings food. She wants to have dinner in his house. Ryo is so natural and harmless. Itsuro convinces himself that what he just saw is just a hallucination. It must be because of his pressure. The next day, Ryo brings another man back. She kills him like it's a piece of cake. Itsuro shouts out of fear. Ryo stabs through the hole. The knife almost pierces into Itsuro's eye. Itsuro runs out to the roof of the building. Ryo chases after him. Itsuro gives up fighting. If it's not because of Ryo, he might be dead already. He kneels down and waits for the final release. Ryo puts her knife against Itsuro's neck. She grants him a last wish. Itsuro wants to date her. Ryo says yes and licks the blood off of his face. Itsuro leans forward and kisses her. Ryo covers his eyes with her hands. She warns him to respect her, otherwise she will kill him. They are officially a couple. Because of Ryo's encouragement, Itsuro gets a part-time job. He shows her the hole in the wall. Ryo suggests keeping the hole because she feels like they are living together. Ryo takes Itsuro to her school. 
She's quite popular. Itsuru is determined to take the entrance exam again. He wants to be with Ryo. As they are getting closer, Ryo doesn't hide the killings from Itsuru anymore. Sometimes they're in the middle of a romantic date. Then Ryo puts on her coat and slices a person in broad daylight. Ryo explains to him that she kills people according to some rules. She has a list. Those she killed are criminals. She doesn't feel sorry for them. Itsuro checks the newspaper. Although Ryo kills so many people, there's no report at all. He believes that Ryo is a member of a justice organization. One day, Itsuro says goodnight to Ryo through the hole. He finds that his neighbor is tied up in Ryo's bed. The neighbor is gentle and kind to animals. Why does Ryo punish him? Ryo ensures him that she won't make any mistake. The man deserves to die. Then she slices him up brutally. Etsuro enters her room and checks out on her. A woman and her team are cleaning the room. The woman explains that they are a well-organized company. Ryo is in charge of killing the criminals while her team is in charge of cleaning the crime scene. Ryo works as a part-time killer. It's one of her hobbies. In order to prove herself, she brings Itsuro to the neighbor's room. Itsuro is astonished to find that the man is an animal abuser. Ryo gently comforts Itsuro afterwards, but Itsuro has a hard time accepting Ryo's hobby. The neighbor's sister looks for him. When she asks Itsuro, he covers for Ryo and gets rid of evidence. Actually, Ryo's cleanup crew have handled everything. They redecorated the neighbor's room and faked a traveling agenda. When Itsuro escorts the neighbor's sister to the room, they don't find anything suspicious. Itsuro spends some time with the neighbor's sister. Ryo is jealous. She argues with him. Itsuro explains that he does it to protect Ryo. Ryo is glad to hear this. Ryo killed the leader of a gang. The new leader finds her. He offers Ryo to work for him. But Ryo rejects it because it's against her rule. The gangster threatens her with Etsuro's life. They kidnap Etsuro and cut his face. Etsuro covers up the wound, but Ryo finds out anyway. He begs her not to kill again. Ryo says, You fell in love with a murderer like me, but you refuse to accept that I will continue to kill people? Under the gang's pressure, Ryo kills another man that night. Itsuro sees from the hole that Ryo is not happy like usual. He rushes to the gangsters and endangers his life to stop them. He can't compete with them. Luckily, Ryo arrives in time. She swings two knives and dances between the gangsters. The gangsters are taken down one by one. Ryo holds Itsuro up. Itsuro asks if she will kill again. Ryo says she'd no longer be her if she stops killing. Itsuro likes everything about her. They express their love and kiss each other. When they separate, Ryo stabs the knife into Itsuro's stomach. She's never been so excited to stab someone she loves. Ryo moves to another apartment. Her cleanup crew have cleared Itsuro's room. Ryo is a little upset because no one will spy on her from the hole. Then Etsuro walks to them with a cane. They move in and start a new chapter of their life together. In this movie, the killing is actually an exaggeration of a person's dark side or flaw. It shows that love can tolerate anything. Love can change anything. What flaw does your other half have? How do you handle that? Don't forget to leave a message here.